Venetic Clax has really uh, revolutionized the treatment of AML. Um, so in, uh, in older patients, we know that uh, the VLA-A study and the VLA-C uh, combined Venetic Clax with lower intensity therapy, either 5-azacidine or lotus atirabine. It showed, first of all, a significant improvement in rate of complete remission, uh, but also importantly, improvement in overall survival in a very difficult population where we had very few therapies to begin with. So I think we've really been able to, 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 to build on that. Uh, we've also started using venetic clax in younger patients with intensive chemotherapy. Uh, so we pioneered a trial with cladribine, idorubicin, and hydrocetirabine called CLIA. Combined with venetic clax, we recently published the data with complete remission rates over 89 to 90% and high rates, over 85% rates of MRD negativity. And, and um, people were able to get to transplant and, and achieving long-term complete remission rates. We followed that up with flag ida plus venetic lax, also in the front line and relapse refractory setting with excellent results. We recently looked at our retrospective review of looking at uh, venetic lax based intensive chemotherapy uh, compared to intensive chemotherapy alone, showed improvement in response rates, improvement in MRD negativity rates, and higher rates of patients going to transplant. So I think in younger patients, this may be an option. Uh, other groups have also studied 7 plus 3 or 5 plus 2 plus venetic lax, and that data also looks very promising. And finally, we have a, uh, an ongoing study with CPX351, which is a liposomal formulation of 7 and 3, with venetic clax, both in the relapse refractory and frontline setting, which is also showing some promising data. So I think venetic clax has really become a, uh, a crucial part of our uh, uh, backbone for upfront treatment of newly diagnosed AML.